वेलकम फ्रेंड्स नो वी आर एंट्रिंग इनटू द सेकंड वीक ऑफ दिस कोर्स ऑन टोयोटा प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम इन अवर फर्स्ट वीक वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द फंडामेंटल इश्यूज व्हाट इज प्रोडक्शन हाउ द ग्लोबल ट्रेंड्स आर मूविंग व्हाट इज द चाइना मैजिक व्हाट आर द न्यू ट्रेंड्स व्हिच आर हैपनिंग इन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वी आल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट्स of toyota production system one is elimination of waste and the second is though this system started from the manufacturing organization but now it is equally applicable to services organization so that it is very much universally applicable system nowadays and it is going to help you in achieving excellence in your operations now in this second week we are going to start with some of the basic principles of toyota production system the basic principles of toyota production system is based on four p's normally all of you are aware of four p's which we discuss in our marketing classes product price place and promotion similarly toyota production system is also based on four p's and these four p's give rise to 14 principles of toyota way so in this class we are going to discuss these four p's and based on these four p's those 14 principles will be the basis of our next 14 sessions in each of these sessions we will be discussing one principle in detail but today we want to keep ourselves to basic four p's because if we understand what are those four p's we will be able to justify the entire philosophy and then we cannot limit ourselves to these 14 principles itself we will be in a capacity to develop the system develop the principles for our organization on our own because these principles were developed in japan with a different kind of cultural background when i want to customize these thing for my indian organization i just need to understand what is the philosophy and based on that philosophy i can design my own way of implementing the toyota production system and rather that will be more important contribution of this course that if we can understand the philosophy properly we will do more justice rather just copying the principles of toyota production system now going into that 4p discussion these are the 4p's one is philosophy the second is process third is people and fourth is problem solving so these are the 4p's the foundation of toyota production system is the philosophy we have a diagram here which shows that the foundation of toyota production system is the philosophy that you have to have a long term philosophy toyota production system actually talks of long term sustainability for the organization so this is very very important that you have to address this challenge we cannot get the short term advantage with the toyota production system and unless until we understand that how toyota production system is related to sustainability then only you can have your top management's commitment for the implementation of toyota production system if you feel that today i start this project of implementing tps in my organization and tomorrow i start reaping the benefit of it it is not possible so therefore toyota production system has this very important aspect that is it is based on a long term philosophy so that is the foundation of toyota production system and you need to develop that whatever is the long term philosophy i am not saying that long term philosophy is only of x type the long term philosophy may be customer satisfaction long term philosophy may be to achieve new products every 10 years long term philosophy may be to become 
नंबर वन कंपनी इन योर सेगमेंट सो देयर मे बी एन नंबर ऑफ लॉन्ग टर्म फिलोसफीज बट इट हैज टू बी ए लॉन्ग टर्म आइडिया द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज प्रोसेस टोयटा सेज दैट द राइट प्रोसेस विल प्रोड्यूस द राइट प्रोडक्ट इफ यू हैव द राइट प्रोसेस इन प्लेस your output will also be correct and this is very very important even in indian system also we believe that a right objective can only be achieved by right means so there are two things one is means and another is ends many a times people say that ends matter means do not matter but toyota says no if you have the right means your ends will automatically be good so it is very very important that you use right processes and right processes will result into the right output right products and uh, if you believe in indian scriptures particularly gita so that also says that uh, we need to be more action oriented if you have the right action your target will also be right so that is uh, the second important p and uh, if i take you to this diagram that is the second label of activity p the issue in which uh, we were focusing in our last session that is the elimination of waste that is actually related to this second p that is the process part so if uh, we understand the process particularly that uh, how my processes are going to add value which are liked by the customer you are having the right type of process but if your processes are those where lot of non value adding activities are also there lot of wasteful activities are also there then you will not be producing the right kind of product which is liked by the customer so emphasis on the processes particularly elimination of waste that is very very important but at the same time i will say that most of the organizations consider only this meaning of toyota production system they only feel that elimination of waste that is toyota production system so organizations normally do not consider other three p's that they are also there elimination of waste the focusing on your processes that is one of the four p and uh, unfortunately many of us take uh, this short sighted vision about the toyota production system that if you eliminate the waste if you achieve the lean manufacturing that is toyota production system where it is not the case it is just one of the activity of uh, four p's but nevertheless it is so then third important p is about people in our previous discussions i added uh, one more uh, you can say defect in that discussion and now that particular defect is highlighted in this p particularly when toyota says that you can add value only by respecting the people you need to respect people you need to challenge your partners and when you challenge your partners they will be able to perform at a higher level and that will add value to them and they will be also on the path of excellence we all want to join those organizations where we continuously face new challenges when we face challenges we consider it as a learning opportunity so as a intelligent person as a rational human being i always want to learn new things and when i want to learn new things for that purpose i need challenges without challenges without stress i cannot learn new things and that is what toyota says that you can add value to the organization by developing your people and partners and that is going to happen by challenging them and that is the third important p so philosophy is the first p process is the second p people 
and partner that is the third P and the fourth P is about the problem solving. What Toyota says that continuously solve root problems which are going to give you organizational wide learning. Do not just try to solve, do not just try to paint your symptoms, rather you need to go to the root causes of the problem. When you go to the root causes of the problem, these will give you more organizational learnings and that is what uh, people want to know. When you try to organize that how a particular problem has come and what is the root of that uh, in our quality management classes, we discuss particularly fishbone diagram. That fishbone diagram is going to help us in identifying the root causes of various problems. So, that type of thing we need to do continuously in an organization where we are implementing Toyota production system. Now, if I see this discussion of 4 P in the form of this diagram. So, this diagram normally we see in case when we are discussing Maslow's hierarchical motivational theory. Now, in that Maslow's hierarchical motivational theory, we have 5 steps, here we have 4 steps. So, as we just discussed that philosophy is the basis, that is the foundation and if you see in this diagram, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So, the 14 principles which are given for the implementation of Toyota production system are related to different P's. So, for philosophy you have one principle, for processes you have 5 principles, for people and partner you have 3 principles and for problem solving also you have 3 principles. So, that is how you can understand that how these different principles are coming from these basic 4 P model. And then you also have the Japanese versions of these 4 P's that Kaizen and Genichi that are the Japanese name for these 4 P model. When we talk of philosophy, so that philosophy says that you need to have your discussions, your management decisions based on long term vision. So, you need to have a long term vision and when you have a long term vision which can pass from one generation to another generation and then you can institutionalize your philosophy into the organization that is the basic premise of Toyota production system. And therefore, many a times in our general discussion we say that as per the Japanese system of management quality is not built on machines, quality is built in your minds and that is precisely coming from this very point that we need to have a philosophy of doing something. So, it is not your action, it is your thoughts which are going to govern the organization. So, if you are going to have appropriate thoughts that will result into the appropriate actions. So, that is first important thing. Now, for that purpose we need lot of issues with respect to change management and therefore, you will see that Toyota production system is not a subject of operations management alone. It has to do lot of things with human resource management also that unless until you have that type of human orientation who are going to accept these principles, it will not be possible just to mechanically implement these concepts. Because of various things which we are discussing, the proper human involvement is very, very important. So, the philosophy which is related to change management that you need to have a long term vision for the implementation of such kind of ideas. The second is P which is a process and that we discuss is more related to elimination of waste. Now, when we are 
talking of uh, elimination of waste we say that uh, we need to create a single piece flow continuous flow single piece flow and this single piece flow continuously will help us to surface various problems that is going to happen when you are having a continuous flow when you do not have that continuous flow some time problems do not come at the surface then it also says about using the pull system pull system is more like uh, jit whenever there is a need you should be able to respond to the that need push system on the contrary is that you are things many things uh, in anticipation that demand will be there so i should be ready with the items while pull system is more reactive in nature that uh, since demand is there therefore i need to produce all these things so the processes according to uh, toyota production system should be designed based on the pull system then you need to level out the workload level out the workload means how to have almost uniform workload with respect to various machines and with respect to different days of the week it is quite possible that because of uneven workload some of the machines are overloaded and some of the machines are starving for the work and therefore chances of failure chances of requiring of the maintenance will increase with respect to those machines where workload is high if i talk different days of the workload so if more workload is there on monday so chances of creating more defects on monday will be higher if uh, with respect to different persons x y z are there in a company x is more loaded than y and z so obviously chances of errors at x will be much higher than y and z so toyota production system says to minimize the errors we need to level out the workload with respect to days with respect to employees with respect to machines etc then you have to standardize the task because nowadays more and more automation is happening and uh, we all know that uh, robots uh, industry 4.0 that type of concepts are coming very fast in the manufacturing area and therefore we need to do more and more standardization more and more standardization will minimize the chances of mistakes then we need to have visual controls visual controls though are very much liked this will help us in minimizing the problems but at the same time you also need to see that uh, these visual controls are designed where these are not distracting the workers if visual controls are in the form of uh, led screens and uh, if you have a shop floor and close by a led screen is also there so your workers focus may shift from the assembly line to that led screen and this will create uh, some kind of accident this may create some kind of uh, defect also so on one side we require visual control because this are very useful in our process management but at the same time we need to minimize the uses of uh, uh, leds computer screen at the shop floor because uh, this will distract your focus so good amount of visual controls in the form of simple lighting etc are possible so visual controls are important but uh, in our session particularly on this visual control we will discuss in detail that what type of visual controls are more useful for the manufacturing organizations then use only tested technology the technology which is already proven in a mass manufacturing organizations which is already available in the public domain we need to use only those proven technologies many a times because the technological cycles are moving so fast or you can say that uh, technology adoption models are becoming so uh, narrow that uh, we are using technologies which are sometime not have proved their worthiness and therefore organization may suffer 
some kind of losses. So, for many organizations it is advisable that uh, those technologies which are already successful technologies we should use uh, them only. Then the next level of uh, this discussion is uh, people and partners that is the third P and as we say that uh, this is related to elevation of your employees. How you use the creativity of your employees, how you are able to create a learning organization where employees feel that yes we are learning and we are also contributing for the success of the organization. And for that purpose there are various things that you have to respect, you have to develop and challenge your employees unless until you give them new targets how will your employees will develop. You need to give new targets to your vendors also that I am going to develop a new product and you have to supply these components for that new product and you start doing R and D for that. So, your vendors will also think for those new components new parts. Somebody is a material supplier. So, you challenge that material supplier that I want a new material with these kind of properties. I am thinking for environmental sustainability. So, you reduce this lead component in your supply in your material and develop a new material which can substitute the requirement of this. I am developing a new kind of car and I want that this car should have similar kind of functional performance as my previous car, but I do not want to use fossil fuel. I want to use 80 percent of the methanol for this purpose. So, how you can give me that kind of fuel, you can give me that kind of engine which can use 80 percent methanol and only 20 percent petrol or diesel. So, that type of challenges if I give to my suppliers, to my people then only they will do more creative activities for the interest of the organization. So, I need to respect them also whenever they come and why will they do these things because I am respecting them, I am considering them as my stakeholders, I am considering them part of my family, I am trying to create leaders out of them, I am trying to create a success and planning out of them. Best of the best Indian organizations are suffering because they are not able to do these things. They are not able to create leaders out of them and therefore, this people and partner is a very very important aspect. I said we are discussing it as operation management subject, but how to have how to understand the importance of people and partner this is the core of the success of Toyota production system. So, therefore, it is equally important human resource management subject also that you need to respect, you need to challenge, you need to grow them and they will contribute for the success of your organization. So, that is third important P. Then we come to fourth important P that is problem solving. Now, this problem solving P that is also very interesting there because there are two views with respect to problem solving. One view says that if a problem is happening at a particular label, so people those who are dealing at that label they are the best persons to solve that problem. So, they should be involved in solving that problem. The other view says that we should not hide the problem at that level, we need to surface the problem to the topmost level, we need to involve the top management in showing that problem. And uh, Toyota production system believes in this second approach that 
we need to show the problem to the top management we need to highlight the problem and why should we highlight the problem do we want to punish those people no it is not for that purpose the reason for highlighting the problem is that when a top management is involved in that problem they may see the problem from different point of view how it is going to affect other functional activities of the business how it is going to have impact on some other aspect of the business what can be the possible root cause of the problem so because the top management has a different kind of vision when they are involved in solving the problem then they will give you much wider aspects of the problem and we discussed that we need to solve the root of the problem not just the symptom of the problem and therefore the involvement of top will help you in solving the root of the problem that that problem should not happen again and uh, this is very very important that from the top management's point of view there is a particular uh, principle we will be discussing that see for yourself you need to see the problem yourself and uh, some of you may argue that if top management is always involved in solving each and every problem so how the top management will get the time for some kind of future vision of the organization how the top management will contribute for the long term success of the organization because his entire time is involved in solving the problems then therefore you can classify problems into the routine problems and exceptional problems so if some routine problem is coming and if the frequency of that routine problem is increasing then also the involvement of top management is required and whenever some exceptional problem is coming then suddenly the involvement of top management is required so by this way you can optimize the involvement or you can optimize the time utilization of your top, uh, top management into the problem solving so we discussed these four p's from philosophy process people and partner and problem solving and uh, as i said many organizations are only limiting to this process part most organizations but it is much more than that uh, when i am talking of philosophy it is more related to strategic management when i am talking of uh, people and partner it is more related to human resource management and when i am talking of process it is related to operation management so toyota management system is not only the domain of operation management it takes inputs from strategic management it takes input from human resource management it takes input again from strategic management in the form of problem solving so uh, it is a kind of package if you understand it properly you can do the management of your organization so that your organization can go to the level of excellence so now in our coming sessions uh, we will start discussions one by one on various principles of uh, uh, toyota production system uh, from uh, uh, developing the long term philosophy for your organization thank you very much